With the Wild West era going past 1899, it opened the door for new technologies like semi-automatic pistols to make an appearance. Semi-automatic pistols have a self-loading action and a spring-loaded magazine that feeds rounds into the chamber. Although not much is said about who in the civilian market ended up with these new firearms, they were appealing to law enforcement and civilians for their ability to hold more rounds and have quick reload time. While the idea of a six-shooter was deeply ingrained in the minds of outlaws and lawmen, the appeal of a semi-automatic pistol was undeniable. As a result, these new firearms made their way into western movies and games such as The Wild Bunch and Red Dead Redemption, and even into the sport of cowboy action shooting. Here are some of the most brutal semi-automatic handguns of the Wild West. The first semi-automatic pistol to receive a patent was the Austrian Salvatore Tormos in 1891. However, before it could be adopted for military use, many revisions had to be made. The military finally adopted the design in 1896 after it had been refined and improved. Despite the slow start, the action of the semi-automatic pistol quickly gained popularity and several manufacturers began producing their own designs. Number 1. Borchardt C93 was a semi-automatic pistol that was manufactured in large quantities, making it the first of its kind to be mass-produced. However, despite its production success, the American military conducted tests on the firearm and found that it had several flaws that made it unsuitable for military use, and so the military did not adapt it, and it did not gain widespread popularity. One of the major issues was its feeding mechanism. The pistol utilized an unusual feeding system where the cartridges were loaded into a fixed magazine that was located above the barrel. The magazine had to be reloaded by hand, and this made the reloading process slow and cumbersome. The feeding system itself wasn't as reliable as a gunslinger would want it to be, the cartridges were tricky, and they had a tendency to jam, which meant that the pistol was prone to misfiring. The pistol was also very difficult to disassemble, which made cleaning and maintenance a tough chore. Number 2, the C96. The Mauser Broom Handle is an iconic semi-automatic pistol that was first introduced in 1896 by the German company Mauser. The pistol was nicknamed the Broom Handle for its distinctive grip shape, which was like the handle of a broom. The design was a big break for its time. It featured a staggered, detachable box magazine that allowed for quicker and more efficient reloading. The C96 Mauser Broom Handle became incredibly popular with over a million pistols produced by the end of its production run in 1937. The pistol's popularity was due to its reliability, durability, and versatility. It was widely used in both World War I and World War II by various countries, including Germany, China, Spain, and Turkey. The Webley Fosbury was a unique and innovative firearm that was ahead of its time. It was an automatic revolver that was popular in Britain during the early 20th century, and it boasted a design that was both elegant and efficient. The gun's inventor, Lieutenant Colonel George Vincent Fosbury, was a brilliant engineer and a marksman who sought to create a firearm that combined the best features of a revolver and an automatic pistol. The Webley Fosbury had a distinctive appearance with a long, sleek barrel and a smooth rounded frame. Its mechanism was based on a recoil operated system that allowed for quick and accurate firing. Unlike the other revolvers of the time, the Webley Fosbury did not require the shooter to manually cock the hammer between shots. Instead, it automatically cycled the cylinder and cocked the hammer with each shot. This made the Webley Fosbury a, a favorite among British officers, especially during World War I, where it was used extensively in trench warfare. Its rapid-fire capabilities and high accuracy made it a formidable weapon on the battlefield, and it quickly gained a reputation as one of the most advanced firearms of its time. Number 4, John Moses Browning, was an inventor who revolutionized firearm design in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Among his many inv innovations, his development of the locked breech action was a game-changer in the world of semi-automatic pistols. Before Browning's breakthrough, most semi-automatic pistols used a blowback action that really relied on the weight of the slide to hold the breech closed until the bullet left the barrel. This design limited the power and caliber of the cartridge that could be used in the pistol. One such gun that used this mechanism is the Colt 1911. This mechanism allowed for a more efficient transfer of energy between the bullet and the slide, resulting in better accuracy and reduced recoil. The pistol was chambered for the .45 ACP cartridge, which had a reputation for stopping power and was adopted by the United States military as the standard of sidearm for many years. One of the most notable features of the 1911 Colt is its grip safety, which requires the shooter to have a firm grip on the pistol before it can be fired. The 1911 also had a significant impact on the popular culture, appearing in numerous movies, television shows, and video games over the years. Its sleek design and powerful reputation have made it a favorite among gun enthusiasts and collectors alike, and its legacy continues to be felt in the firearms industry today. Thank you so much for watching, let me know your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe.